In this video we use a quick and easy way of removing area of a fuel system on a 3406C. This is a 3406C in a 980C Caterpillar loader and we're going to take the fuel filter off and tip out all the fuel and then put it back on. Run the engine and it's going to run out of fuel. This is going to simulate a situation where you run the machine out of fuel and put air in the system. Now you could just fill the machine back up and manually pump it until you get fuel through the system but that takes a lot of effort and there's an easier way of doing it. I'll go ahead and tip the fuel out of this filter. We'll have a look at the fuel line so we know what's going on there. This bottom line is the fuel from the tank to the lift pump, that's the lift pump and then it goes from the lift pump and gets pumped up to the filter housing up the top there goes through the filter, comes back through that line and into the pump. Goes through the pump and then comes out the return line back to the tank. That's the line that we're going to vacuum from. This is me putting the fuel filter back on empty. Next you need to undo your return line. Once the nut is loose, you should be able to grab the line and pull it back half an inch just to move it out of the way. You're going to need at least one 3.8 JIC fitting to go onto the pump. We're putting that on the return side of the pump because we want to drill fuel all the way through the filter and in through the pump and out. You don't need a fitting on the other end, so I'm going to remove this one. This is just clear hose you get from a hardware shop. And then you just need to attach your vacuum bleeder to it somehow. I just feed the small line in through the larger line and then just tape it up just to help it seal. And then you just need to pull a vacuum for about five minutes. You know it's prime when fuel starts to come out of the clear line. We're starting to get a lot of fuel coming through the line, so I'm going to stop now. Remove the fuel line you put on and then reattach the steel line. I like to give it half a dozen pumps with the manual priming pump just to check this fuel there. If we hadn't have bled the fuel through it could take a hundred pumps or more like this, it's a lot of effort. Now contrary to popular belief you don't actually need to crack all six injectors. I can only get to four and five comfortably and that's all I'm going to do. I just undo the nut where it goes into the head there. If we can get four and five cylinder to fire that'll pick up enough RPM and the other lines will bleed through. Slow engine speed when you're cranking an engine over is what can make this so frustrating. So let's wind the engine over. If you're doing this job by yourself, you're not going to get to see the fuel come out of the injector lines. So just go down there and make sure that there's fuel been splashed around and that, that's a good indication that you had fuel up to there and you just need to tighten up the nut now. When we go and fire up the engine again, you're going to hear the engine slowly pick up. It's running off two cylinders plus the starter motor and it'll turn over a lot quicker and eventually it'll fire. I switched from two camera views there, but that's exactly how long it took to fire up. It didn't take long at all. If you thought this was a good watch, click and subscribe. I'm uploading videos like this every week. And if there's a particular job you'd like me to film, let me know in the comment section.